Have you seen this Cornel West segment? I believe this segment could sink the Democrats and the Republicans. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tim Black. If you want to follow Dr. Cornel West in the 2024 election, you need to subscribe right now to this channel. In this video, I'm going to be covering Dr. West on the Chris Cuomo show. I believe the message inside this video is so powerful, it can knock out both Biden and Trump. I have several clips to prove my point. Here's clip number one. I don't hate Brother Trump. I just hate mendacity. I had I hate gangster behavior. I don't hate Brother Biden. I just hate hypocrisy. I hate neoliberal policies that don't speak to the needs of poor and working people. And you know, the legacy of Martin King is always what? Beginning with the least of these. I mean, I speak also as a revolutionary Christian. It's the least of these, those in prison, the hood, in the barrio, in the reservation, white brothers and sisters who are catching a lot of hell. That's why I'm going straight into Trump country. And I'm going to tell those white brothers and sisters, I care about you. I know you're wounded. You don't need to follow a neo-fascist pipe piper like Brother Trump. Dr. West can appeal across the political spectrum because, for one, he does not denigrate Donald Trump to the point where he's just a caricature. They vilify Trump so badly, he's like the Satan, the incarnate, the Antichrist. Which only works well with Democrats. But if you're going to go into Trump town, you're going to have to lead with love. And that's what Dr. West is saying will be his tact. Instead, Dr. West will call out Trump on his policies. And unlike the Democratic candidates running against Joe Biden, Dr. West will not be hamstrung by political affiliation. Now, he'll be able to call out Joe Biden as he did here for his hypocrisy. He'll be able to say, hey, I know you do a lot of virtual signaling, Democrats, but in reality, you're cozy with Wall Street. You're cozy with the military industrial complex. All this virtual signaling to black voters, but what do you actually offer black voters? And he'll be able to do some from a position of righteousness. Righteous indignation. Not pettiness. See, Dr. West avoiding the spitefulness of Donald Trump will make his criticism all the more powerful. This is going to be a breath of fresh air for most folks. It will motivate those on the left, the right, the center, and most importantly, it'll motivate Republicans and Democrats. And even more importantly, it'll motivate and inspire independents, which, by the way, are the largest political group there is. Not affiliates and independents are the prize. That, that's who decides elections. Not Jill Stein. Not Nina Turner. Not a couple of Russians with $100,000 worth of Facebook ads. But independent voters. Swing voters. And that's who Corner West is primed to attract. And a lot of those voters are not so much concerned with party affiliation as they're concerned with the economic side of the game. And then he'll go to economics for the win. Because the Democratic Party has shown itself over and over again, and you know my love for my dear brother Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. It's shown itself that both parties now stand in the way of coming to terms with the, with the, the plight of poor and working people. 60% of our fellow citizens, no matter what color, barely making it day to day, month mm -hmm. to month. Both parties tied to Wall Street. Both parties tied to military expansion. Look at the debt ceiling agreement. 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. And as crazy it may seem, most black Americans don't know, that includes white folks. Black Americans in urban cities, black and brown folks in urban cities, it's about 69%. But 60% of America in general lives paycheck to paycheck. That includes white folks who aren't doing so well. That includes Asians. Everyone's not doing as well as you believe. This video puts it in a nutshell just how powerful a message like this can be. I am so tired of feeling helpless as a parent. Yes, my kids are grown adults. My oldest is 28, my youngest is 25. And I thought by teaching them what I learned, which is you work hard, you get a good job, you're going to get the things in life that you need, right? Worked for me. Why wouldn't it work for them? Because it doesn't. Because the world has fucking changed, all right? And now I feel like I see them struggling. And before my generation comes at me, yes, I understand struggling is a part of life. We all struggled. But there's a difference between struggling and drowning. It seems like kids today, no matter how much they struggle, they just get further and further down the water into the drowning point. All right. 
when I was their age, I was making less than $10 an hour and I could afford to live on my own. Now you have to be making six figure salary to get a decent tiny little place to live. So what the fuck is going on and how do we help them as parents? Now that video got over 11 million views and it's still going, it's on TikTok. It's been featured on Fox News. I wonder why it hasn't played on MSNBC or CNN. This video is not just an indictment of Joe Biden, though that's the way Fox News wanted to use it. It's an indictment of the entire system, and it's been this way for quite some time. To buy what you could buy with a dollar in 1990, today you'd have to spend $2.33. $100 in, 90, in 1990. To get that equivalent amount of groceries, you've got to spend over $200 now. $233. Get what I'm saying? And do you think wages went up that much? No, they didn't. But the rent did. But mortgages did. So it's inflation plus corporate spending and not having any type of moral valve on how much profits they could make. And prices just go up and up and up and up and up and up. And there's no bringing them down. Americans are in tune to this incredibly. This will resonate with Americans across the board. Once Cornel West goes into these rural areas, he goes into these urban areas, he goes into the wide open country in the Midwest, and he says, hey, 56 cents on every dollar is spent for the military. We need to stop spending money on non-defense. We don't need 800 bases in 80 countries around the globe so we can dominate the world. We need to focus at home and be a member of the political of the universal uh, community, not the dominator of it. You don't believe the average American doesn't want us to reel in some of this spending and spend that money at home? I think they do, especially when our kids can't find places to live. When they have to live at home at 30 and 35 years old because they just can't afford to live anywhere else. They can't pay their student loans. And when medical bills are the number one cause of bankruptcy in the country. Yeah, I think we have a problem. And I think Dr. Cornel West highlighting these issues, not demonizing Trump, not demonizing Biden, calling them both out, that will resonate with all folks, black folks, Latinos, Native Americans, Asians, all religions. And which brings me to another point. I have yet to hear commentators Seriously consider the fact that Dr. Cornel West is a, he's a Christian and he wears his Christianity on his sleeve. And I never hear them talk about how he can penetrate the Donald Trump evangelical base, but he can. There's got to be some folks who are Christian loving folks, a little tired of having to fit with their conscience and voting for Donald Trump. I, I got to believe this. He's a Christian who's not off-putting to atheists. He's not off-putting to Muslims and people of different religious beliefs because he captures the best of that Christianity and uses it in his policy of bringing humanity together instead of separating us using Christianity. So this is why I'm saying that I believe that this message from Cornel West can topple both Trump and Joe Biden. And that's why he's a threat. Not just to the Democrats, he's a threat to the Republicans as well. See, Bernie Sanders had a prime opportunity. He went out and he showed us, you could do well in West Virginia. You could go out to the Midwest and talk to them about bread and butter issues. The problem, only problem with it was, Bernie could not be as critical of the Democrats as Cornel West because Bernie, though he's an independent, is tied to the Democratic Party. He's running as a Democrat. Dr. West is not running as a Democrat, and he's not tied to the Democratic Party. So that gives him carte blanche to call it as he sees it. This will wake up several rooms in the rural Rust Belt. See, I believe this is a moment of excitement of the possibility, not just based on emotion. I'm talking about facts here. I'm talking about what Dr. West's candidacy can mean to blow the barn doors off of this duopoly. And it can and it can clear out all the mess and all the focus on the frivolous, those pesky web issues that they use to manipulate the masses. Dr. West won't be playing that game. He'll be talking about your 401k. 
not going as far as it should go. He'll be talking about the bombers we dropped, the, cl- the cluster bombs falling on the heads of children. He'll be talking about climate change and the impact that is happening right now due to it. He'll be talking about mass incarceration. He'll be talking about bigotry and racism, but he'll also be talking about the high price of everything. Folks not being paid a livable wage. Even while Americans are more productive than they've ever been in the history of America, the wages aren't keeping up due to what? The top 1%. So take Bernie Sanders' core message and combine it with more honesty, more brutal honesty, and no affiliation to any party other than the Green Party, and couple that with a rootedness to humanity. And then taking take into consideration black folks getting behind this candidacy, much like we did Obama, but this time with our eyes open, with a candidate that's willing to challenge the status quo. This is very doable. But as I look at the message, when I look at the platform, when I look at the policies, then I'm sure Dr. West will spend much time fleshing out for us. But if you start looking at this platform for what it is, what it can mean, and how it will fall on the ears of all folks, regardless of party, I think all the news we've been hearing about how the Democrats are worried, I think the Republicans should be worried as well. I think they all should be worried. And I think all of us should be inspired. All right, stop playing around with me and subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. Hit the subscribe link and cut on all notifications. I'm Tim Black, and I'll be back with another one. And remember, like I always say, don't let nobody take your cornbread. It's a new day. Team Black, we are the Wolfpack. Extra innings are bonus segments from Tim Black's Black Table Show with the Blacks. That's Tim Black and the amazing Mrs. Black. For early access to extra innings, become a paid member of the Tim Black Show at jointimblack.com. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Baby, join today. See you there, Wolfpack.